Your child's neurologist has prescribed intranasal midazolam as a treatment for your child's seizures. This video will explain how to deliver this medication to your child. You will need the following supplies to administer intranasal midazolam. Intranasal midazolam. This medication will come in a small brown vial. The vial holds two milliliters of medication. Your child's dose will range between one milliliter and two milliliters. Please follow your physician's order for the correct dose of medication. Anatomizer kit to deliver the medication. This kit includes a syringe, a blunt tip needle, and the atomizer to deliver the medication intranasally or in the nose. When your child has a seizure, please remain calm and remember time the seizure. Most seizures will stop on their own. However, if your child's seizure lasts longer than your doctor would like it to, then you will need to administer the midazolam medication as follows. Take the cap off the medication vial. Place a blunt tip needle on the syringe. Insert the needle into the medication vial and turn it upside down. Pull back on the syringe and get all of the medication out of the vial and into the syringe. Depending on your child's dose, you will have between one and two milliliters of medication. Remove the blunt tip needle from the syringe and place the atomizer on the syringe. Make sure the connection is secure so that no medication is lost at the connection site. Insert the atomizer into the nostril and deliver half of the medication through one side. Then insert the atomizer into the other side and deliver the rest of the medication. When the medication is administered in the nose, it will come out as a spray or mist. After you have delivered the medication, place your child on their side and watch closely. It may take several minutes for the seizure to stop. If the seizure continues five minutes or more after the medication is given, follow your doctor's instructions on what to do next. The atomizer kit may be used more than once. After using it, rinse it in warm water and lay it on a paper towel to dry. Please discard and use a new kit when it begins to show signs of wear and or when you are no longer able to read the numbers on the syringe. If you have any questions about these instructions, please ask your caregivers. Thank you for choosing Cleveland Clinic for your care.